No, folks, it's rich here. If this guitar is in one piece, I'll be amazed. Look at this flimsy ass box that's been got. Look how wet this has got. Here, this is just like card. Let's have a look. Not good. Not good at all. Piss poor courier for letting me get that wet. It's upside down in here and it's just in a gig bag. Honestly, I mean, if it is in one piece, great. But seriously, if you're packaging a guitar to, to send it <laughs> through a courier, now I worked as a warehouse manager for years, that, even that is wet. Things get thrown around. pillow in that box. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> Honestly, some people are absolute fucking idiots. Idiots. Let's hope it's alright, hey? Anyway, filthy. People, well, people are idiots and people are tramps. Now, I appreciate I'm a bit OCD how I roll my, how I do things in my life. But I like to think clean and tidy and I look after stuff and other people just aren't the same, are they? Anyway, this is an ML3 Pro Modern. It's got a, it's white, it's sort of a whitey, vintagey whitey with a sparkle in it, look. You can struggle to put it up on the camera. It's got a roasted maple neck on here, much darker roast, which I like. I like darker roasts than the ML3 Pro traditional that I had. You've got 22 stainless steel frets, jumbo, and the looming lay side dots on here as well. Hip shot locking tuners, open gear, oops, open gear ones, which are nice, all black, tusk nut. One thing I'm a little bit surprised about was a bit hard to tell. The reason I sold my traditional was not because I didn't like the look of it or the sound of it, it was because the neck it was just too chunky. I just never really got into it. And I thought this being the modern, that'd be slimmer. Is that slimmer? Hmm. First impressions is that it's still pretty chunky. Not sure. Uh, Seymour Duncan pickups. Five way switch. I forget which Seymour's these are. I should check on the website. Oh, it's so dirty. Honest to God, it's the one thing I hate about buying used guitars. Got a slight dink here. I appreciate everyone's different. You know, what's, what's well looked after to one person is not to another. What being a tramp is to one person <laughs> is not to another. Harsh, maybe Richard, but um, yeah, just mucky, dirty people. Mucky, dirty people. It's a nice, nice neck joint here, look. Glued in neck. So, th so this is, not so nice, effectively replacing my ML3 Pro traditional. Um, because I, I sold that because the neck was a bit fat. That's the main reason I sold it, really. And I was hoping that this would be a bit slimmer. And, you know, something a little bit different, having proper oomph in your, I mean, the, 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 uh, the pickups in my, in the traditional are very good, as you, as you probably would have heard from previous videos, and can do, you know, rock and metal pretty well, really, considering they're singles, but this should just take that up a, a step further. I mean, it looks okay, just mucky, can't believe it's come in a box like that, it's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous, but by the grace of God, Let's just hope I'm gonna plug it in, it works. What, what do you think to this? Yes, it's a Chapman, not everyone's gonna like that. Been through that many times, don't need to go through it again. Um, I like it, it's, it's got a quite, I think it's gonna be a bit neck divey because the body feels quite light and heavy. Feels a bit neck heavy, maybe. We'll, we'll see. I mean, you get that with Teddy's generally, don't you? So this was 400 pounds. These were a thousand pounds new. Again, we've had that conversation, haven't we, about what we think about that. So, yeah, open gear hip shot locking tuners are best part of £100 for a set if you just buy them. Stainless steel frets, 
See my Duncan pickups. Quite plain looking. Is that one worth a thousand pounds new? Don't know actually. Well, that's harsh for me to say that. I might have plugged it in and had a go. I suppose the one, my traditional, because you've got all the gold hardware on it as well, makes you feel like there's a bit more value for your money, I suppose, because that's a bit more plain, isn't it? But I do like it. So I'm going to give it a little plug in. Now, give it a tune up. What's the action like well, that fella's had? It's all right. Yeah. Strings don't seem too bad, but I'll change them anyway and give this a good old clean up. Yes. So there we go. That's, that's, a, that's what it's a Chapman I've not had. Not had one of these before. So I'm looking forward to giving that a go. I've had moderns, but all standards. Not that a pro modern. So yeah, looking forward to giving that a bit of a thrash and see how that sounds.